Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your weekly uh, twin flame reading here. Uh, hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Just a little FYI, little information for you. I do offer a twin flame spread uh, reading here. It's more private than just a general here, uh, but this is just a guidance kind of thing. But if you are interested in your own private reading, for your own twin situation, just email me at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com with the subject line of twin flame, uh, interested in twin flame reading. Uh, I do try my hardest to make fair prices as well. Uh, but yeah, and we're going to get started here. So uh, I use a separate deck for each different energy. If you combine it, you're really going to get kind of messed up energy. So that's why I choose from two different decks. This is going to be the Empress energy, the female energy here uh, for the Rider Waite. And then the Marchetti we're going to be using for the male energy, a.k.a. the Emperor here. So we're going to pull from two separate, like I said. What I do here is what you need to know. Now keep in mind, because you are twins, you can mirror each other's images. So uh, as well as you can butt into each other's spreads. That's quite normal. And then... I'll pull a spread for you, what you need to know for the Empress energy, for the Emperor with the other reading or with the other cards here. Uh, I do pull what do they need to know, what do, you know, what's going to happen with them. Uh, and then at the end, I, I basically play matchmaker, matchmaker, which is part of the fun. And I do wind up talking to myself <laughs> at the end because I always was really bad growing up playing that game. My memory is bad. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's just get into it here and I'll show you what step by step what we're doing here. So just keep in mind that this is a general. This is for the Empress here. Hopeful that they will be coming in to communicate to clear everything up. What you are wondering if they if they actually feel this connection as well here, if they actually see that this is a twin flame uh, going on. There's a little bit of doubt whether or not they are still kind of, I literally heard, and I'm just the messenger, oblivious, okay? However, we're going to look into him and the emperor energy and see. I feel that it's been a roller coaster of a ride, and I just feel, you know, keep on healing your energy, but there's definitely lack of communication by them and not really feeling the love. I feel that you need to do you kind of energy, that your happiness by them is going to be coming around for sure. But there's this doubt. That's what this spread is all about. Because you got the high priestess here in the world right underneath it. So there's, and then there's the seven of pentacles right looking at that high priestess. So there is a little bit of doubt. And believe me, I get that. I totally understand that. You know, if something's not going into fruition, especially if you're manifesting for this relationship to take place, it's kind of like you get discouraged. But spirit's basically saying, uh uh, have the faith, keep the faith here. Don't give up on the faith in regards to this meant to be relationship. Spirit's not. So why should you? You know, it's kind of like trying to get a goal here. Uh, for me personally, my goal is to move. I want to move. And I wake up and I get discouraged because it's such a lot of work, you know. And you go through a lot and it's a lot of time required here. That's what I mean. It's kind of like don't give up on your dreams, your desires, what you feel it. It's your intuition. Don't get up. Get, uh, give up on this. Don't get discouraged. I'm going to take my own words of advice with that, too. Clarify that. They know that you're right. They are slipping in your energy here, and you are right. You're ready to show this action. You could be a little, uh, not I wouldn't say perturbed, but a little agitated, I'd say, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. We're allowed to uh, share, to feel emotions over this journey here. But they know exactly what to do. They know that you want them to take that next step. They they know. And to answer your thought, your question, even though these are not his cards, I am feeling that they do feel the connection, okay? They know that you're supposed to be together. They're just kind of working on their energy here, King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, uh, and then the Page of Swords. So definitely they're going to stop being quiet and open up here. Yeah, they're going through a tough time here, but they're going to be moving away, okay? of that kind of denial of this relationship initially. Initially, your energy was spot on, was correct, but people change, you know, not a lot, but people do change, okay? 
with their intentions, you know, seeing the light. They're seeing signs of situations where they the signs remind them of you, you know, and that's proof in the pudding. I always used to believe that when I was going through a similar situation, and that's true with anything, you know, whatever you're thinking about at that time, and then all of a sudden, which is usually a twin, uh, or what have you, you know, uh, they show us a sign, whether you see one, 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 uh, four ones, you know, or their name, or you hear their name, that's all a sign, you know, uh, but you're supposed to kind of reboost your energy in regards to belief. So don't get discouraged, okay? And I see that, and I understand it totally. So your mission here, Empresses, is that just keeping the faith here, don't get discouraged, okay, even though it has been a long time. Have that determination, you know, settle, work on your energy more, absolutely. It's not overly stressed with working on your energy. You're showing up as the nine here, so you've been on this journey for quite some time. They know what they need to do. They just needed that time to get their head out of the clouds, you know. Yes, I was going to say the other terminology too for that. Uh, but yeah, but I have to watch what I say. Uh, but definitely, they're working on themselves here at figuring things out. But they have you have the Queen of Wands as well as the King of Wands in the outcome here. So you two are a power couple. You are meant to be here. Could be dealing with fire sign. You could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. But like I always say, I really don't go by uh, the signs per se. I go by the energy of the cards. Uh, but yeah, and then there's the Page of Swords So the, and looking at that Four of Pentacles. So they plan on coming in and communicating and clearing things up. All right. So let's, uh, and of course, on a private reading, you know, I really, really dig. I pull a lot of clarifiers. <laughs> this is just the general, just the uh, gist of the energy that needs to be said here. Okay. All right. So this is the Emperor Energy. Nine again, nine again, nine of swords this time. So they're picking up on your energy, the long trial, uh, you know, the tough times that you've been going through, the sleepless nights here. Uh, I feel somebody out there, emperor-wise, uh, is seeing a vision. Uh, you then could be hearing a cry, you know, out of the blue. It's kind of like, where'd that cry come from? Like, I heard a cry, you know, kind of thing. They are definitely picking up on your energy, but deep, deep down, they know that they need to come to a completion here with the world and make a final choice, a decision, because their intentions are not to hurt you here. You know, they're trying to figure things out. Yes, it's been a long time with that Knight of Pentacles here. They are sorry. They are going to be communicating. Nice, baby. Nice. Uh, now, don't be looking for no 15 page essay, as I always say, but yeah. I feel like they are going to, with this communication coming in, explain their woes, you know, uh, like kind of like I was just fresh, I'm frustrated because I got totally up in my head, you know, and I got scared, so I walked away from it all, and now I'm reconsidering, now I'm changing my balance with this situation. They're really putting in that work for sure, but I feel that, you know, they really do want this relationship. I feel like for some, they are doing research, whether they are researching about, uh, I just heard the afterlife. Well, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, more so like twin flame information, watching videos, doing research of some sort about twin flames, about a spiritual connection, <clears throat> excuse me, more so in regards to looking up information about spirit guides and universe and twin flame okay is what i'm feeling here they do love you with that lovers gemini energy does not have to be uh oh wow so you could be dealing with either a twin or a soulmate so soulmate with that two of cups but they know you know and i do feel that there's like vision somebody's having a vision of upsetting you they're seeing your pain they feel your pain intuitively they feel like they uh, that happened to me one time. I, I woke up in the middle of the night. I'm an old lady. You know, I had to use the facilities. <laughs> Putting it briefly here, not too much TMI. I get back to bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, why do I feel sad? I was fine. You know, I was in a good mood. I contact the dude that I was talking to the next morning. I was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's how I phrased it and everything. Well, I had a rough night, Deb. And I'm like... I know. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's like not just a vision, but somebody is having a vision. I do feel that with you here. But I do feel that um, like seeing a little sneak peek into your life, what you're going through with this journey. 
but also that intuition of something's not right. I've really upset my empress here, you know? Interesting. Let's see. I do feel that there's a lot of energy that is picked up between the two of you more so at night. You both miss each other. They definitely miss, e miss you, that's for sure. And they know that they got up in their head. That's what caused the hesitation here with the devil looking at that seven of pentacles. You see that chicka? She's like barely, barely touching that pentacle. Pentacle is balance, you know, but seven pentacles is no definition. I hardly ever use definition. It's waiting, you know, waiting for that balance, that missed opportunity here for that reaching out to start anew with balance here in this, but they're stay so close, you know, oh, so close, wrong vowel. But yeah, definitely they're a little confused, but they will conquer this and there will be this communication. Now for the Marchetti deck, which is what I was drawn to for the male energy here, he's holding those four swords. That's calming energy. That's peaceful way of thinking. And the ace of swords that he's holding. Yes, the five of swords is a hot mess of back and forth, back and forth. And I do feel that you had that too. But I do feel for this energy for the emperor here, this is seen clearly with that ace of swords. Swords is not just communication, but it's way of thinking. It's a new start of thinking here and fi finding out that it's like Hitchcock here, finding out the, the answers, you know, solving the, the mystery, okay, is what I'm feeling. Somebody is relating to uh, Hitch Hitchcock or what, what have you. They're showing me the, the, the shadow thing. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, long time explaining, long time of not feeling this love. And they do truly miss you here. But I feel that this is going to be acting fast with that eight of wands and the tower. Hello. Out of the blue, this communication, this action is coming by them. Definitely. Quite an interesting energy. They really need to expand and uh, their intuition. Some of them are really highly intuitive. They just don't know how to go with it. You know what I mean? They have to learn. That's why I felt with uh, somebody emperor wise is really in touch with their spiritual senses, but more so really relatable to this twin flame journey and really should know more, you know, like expand their horizons. There's nothing wrong with learning. That's for sure. Every day is a lesson in my eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these cards kind of away. <laughs> so uh, and I'm going to spread these out. This is known as the lovely matchmaker. Matchmaker, bring me a match. Now, not everybody has to have a match here. It's just like an added little bonus. It was something that I came up with. It's pretty simple. Uh, you know, I'm a simple kind of chick. But yeah, so I'm just spreading these out. Okay. And then these are your cards, so we're going to play matchmaker here. Boy, I did a hot mess for their cards. Okay, hang on. Let me just spread them apart a little bit. I'll be cleaning that up just a minute. Okay. All right. You both have the five of swords, so then I play matchmaker here. No, Oh, you do have the world. Nice. Uh, but yeah, that's good. That's what you want to see. A completion, a major arcana with the world for both of you here. That's good. That's end of a journey here and new beginnings here as well all right so no ten of cups ten of i don't believe you had that see this is where deb ta start talking to herself this is just amusing in itself all by itself so uh but yeah four of cups takes me a hot minute don't worry This. You got the power couple of the king and queen of wands. That's I'm keeping that. I keep that. Oh, they tell me what I'm supposed to collect, like pages or fives or even ten. Sometimes they tell me, but as soon as they tell me, I'm like, I'm on it. You know, higher font here. Six of swords. They're already sending me messages. I hear you. I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> just wait a second. I do feel like I need to collect the page the pages, which is communication. There, I'm kind of drawn to that energy. Alrighty. Uh, no Queen of Pentacles, not that I see here. Nope. Four of Wands, obviously, I'm gonna keep because that's part of the twin flame. Nine, I'm not feeling the nine here between you two. The seven of pentacles. I do feel that you two do do that. Yeah, you both had that. Uh the high priestess as well is a part of the twin flame. I'm keeping that. Yeah, I don't think you have the Knight of Wands here. No, you have the Knight of Pentacles, or they have the Knight of Pentacles, they have the Knight of Cups here. Wow. 
All right, so let's clean up this hot mess known as the extra cards. Yeah, not too, too many dupes, but hey, that's okay. You know, you get what you get. And, you know, as I say, this is just a general. When I get into it, I do pull extra cards. I really do. Uh, but yeah, that's just the way it flow because I'm like part nosy, you know, and I want to know. And I, and you pay good money. Uh, I, I want to, you know, find out as much information as po humanly possible. All right. So what this tells me is that, you know, A, I feel that you're both working on your energy. You know, I feel that he sees the, uh, not saying that the Empress does not see that this is a connection. You absolutely do. But I feel that uh, this is a little bit of confusion of whether or not they are actually going to be coming back. You just got to wipe that energy out, okay? They're still working on their energy, uh, but definitely uh, between the two of you here added together, that's a Ten of Swords, and one of you did have the Ten of Swords here. So that's just double proof that uh, all this mental anguish, all this mumbo jumbo of mental anguish and everything is coming to an end. But I feel for you, I feel that, you know, end that mental anguish about, uh, having the doubt of the system, having the doubt of whether or not they're going to be coming back or not. And in regards to them, they're going to see clearly and move forward, okay, in this relationship, I'm feeling again. All right. So in regards to the Seven of Pentacles, keep manifesting is yours. They do hear you. They do feel you. Somebody out there, emperor-wise, like I keep feeling, is having visions. That happened to me one time, and I was just like, what am I seeing? I, I don't want to get into it because, you know, but let me tell you, it was quite interesting what happened. I heard, I saw a vision. It was like really weird, really weird. Like I had the whole interior of somebody's house in their living room. <laughs> it was really weird. Uh, but yeah, definitely just keep thinking, keep working on your balance here. They're going to be approaching, but you both have a little bit more work. I'm feeling with those two nines. Once you, you know, that's a long journey here, but you're basically mirroring with two nines as well. But definitely, you know, you're going to get through this for sure. And that's why there's two twos. Like there's two pages here for sure of explaining, talking, and love here with the Page of Cups as well as the Page of Swords. So all in all, in regards to the this particular Twin Flame, I know it's tough. And we all doubt ourselves sometimes. But really try to work on that energy. It's not bad. It's not horrible. It's human, you know. And they know that. They know, it's like spirit universe knows. We don't have angel wings on our back. You know, we're human. We're prone to making mistakes, you know. Uh, but definitely, and that is, you know, it's kind of a little boo-boo, you know, to have confidence and believe. And this is a prime example of believing back into this again and not to give up hope on your dreams and wishes. So definitely, you know, you both are thinking of each other. They're going to be coming back. That mental anguish of it all is coming to an end completely here and you two are going to be communicating once again and that's what i have for whomever this is meant for for this week's twin flame energy if you are interested in a private reading that information is down below in the description box below just email me if interested at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com and i'll get that out to you uh yeah and that's what i have guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to smash that like button button comment down below if you like the new uh, twin flame readings that I've been doing. I used to do them a while ago, like a few years ago, and then I just kind of stopped kind of thing. But now I'm back on it again. Uh, thank you all for being here. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.